good people hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel and if you're new don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that every time i upload a new video you are able to be notified and uh, you can follow up on my videos and keep up with me so as the video suggests today i'm going to show you what i have packed in my hospital bag okay i don't know if i have overpacked or underpacked but uh, let me show you this is the bag that i'll be using it's quite huge it's big it has nothing right now because i've removed everything i placed it here because i want to show you as i take it back in the bag so it's a huge 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 bag i hope it fits everything it doesn't have compartments inside so i thought it's the best thing to carry around so we are just going to start with uh, the the heavy things so I'll start with the blanket. This is the heavy blanket I'll be carrying. It's big enough. This is what we'll be. It's big enough. This is what we'll use when going home and to cuddle the baby. I don't want to remove. So that's the heavy blanket that we'll be using. Then I got this light one. This is like a small one that goes inside the baby. That the small. It's so, it's not so big, but uh, it is soft and comfortable and warm. So this goes inside there too. I have. Uh, what do you call this thing? A funnel. It's big enough. I don't want to <laughs> remove them completely, but that's there. Also got a smaller funnel, just in case, just in case. So I'll have two, two of them two light this one and uh, the lighter blanket and the heavy blanket then i'll have his towel here this is the towel so cute i love it is you need the pool well i don't know I, i'm not sure i guess this is his towel it's so nice soft and i love it so that one also will be going in my bag. Uh, then I got his outfit, the one that he'll use immediately when he's born. This is what he'll wear. Some hospitals in Kenya they dress you with their hospital clothes, but some they don't dress you dress the baby with their hospital clothes. So you have to carry some clothes for your baby. So this is the clothes that he'll wear immediately he's born. So here we have them. Let me show you one by one. I have some vests here. Then some onesies. They are, they are all cleaned up only that they are not ironed. That they will be ironed. Then I got a romper. This one. Hope he can fit in this. It's no, it's a newborn, but I don't know whether it can fit. I don't hope. Hope he'll fit inside this one. So I have that. I love it. I love the pattern. Don't know whether you can see. Uh, then I have a kofia. And some socks. I got. I had some mist in somewhere. I don't know where I placed them. But if I don't have them, I'll 
have them here. Then I have a bit. I don't know whether they need this. The first day they are born, so I have I have also packed that. So this will his will be his outfit when he's born. Then I got another outfit for going home because in Kenya when you give birth no more like naturally you don't have to stay in the hospital for long you stay for a day so he'll wear that when he's born then when he's cleaned up and it's time to go home this is the outfit he'll be wearing let me show you one by one we have some mittens there some socks again a vest which i don't know whether they need or not but i'll pack it anyway then some one sleeve again white i love white you've noticed they are white white almost everything is white then a t-shirt it's so cute i don't know whether he'll wear it or i don't know but i'll still carry it along because uh, when i'll be giving birth it might be a little bit cold so he'll need to keep warm okay uh i, I think the doc the nurses will advise me on whether he'll wear all that like a vest a onesie a t-shirt such and then i have these little cute trousers not really sure i'll go with this or i'll go with uh, another romper that one i've still not yet decided because of the umbilical cord and this one has this elastic thing here i don't know but i'll 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 still decide but i love the outfit because of this and uh it has a matching top and it's quite warm and smooth it's quite cozy so that's what will be his outfit for going home and also it has a matching oh something has fallen it has a matching uh hat and uh bib so that will be his going home outfit then uh i don't know whether i pack i carry i'll carry an extra sweater because the month which i'll be giving birth it's a bit cold so probably he'll need it i'm not sure whether he'll use it or not but i'll still carry it i'll pack it in his bag then i'll have some diapers and uh some wipes they give diapers in the hospital but i still carry some and uh, some baby wipes well i won't carry some soap or lotion for him because i think they advise not to use them or like i don't know if we'll need them we'll get them later then again i'll have some his another an extra kofia and uh beep and i have i think some extra socks and uh, a wash cloth for him it's quite soft good for the baby skin then i have these liners which i can use to place here when he beeps when he um, burps you know baby when they burp the milk come out of their mouth and that. so i'll use this there and also i can use it to to wipe him so i have two of them and that is all for the baby that i think i've packed everything that i need for the baby i don't know i'm not sure but I hope I have everything covered. If there's something that I'll be missing, I'll send someone to come and collect it home. So we go to my clothes, what I'll need. I have these uh, maternity pads. 
but they give also in the hospital but I decided to carry some extra because they don't give a lot I think they still give such a pack that has uh, about 10 pieces or 20 pieces but for emergencies let me carry some for myself uh, these ones will go in another this baby stuff will go in that bag then I'll carry another bag for myself this this way I'll put stuff for me things that I'll need to carry so I have the maternity pad then I got these nursing bras they are so nice because when you put them on you can always you don't have to remove the whole bra you do this how do you do this oh you open that way and then there you can breastfeed your baby there so i have two pairs of maternity bras then i have some cotton panties that i need i know like several of them then i got uh, what else I got this top, this vest. I'll, I don't know whether I'll need it, but I think I can wear If it will be cold, I'll wear it underneath the, the hospital, hospital gown, the ones they give, because they are, you know, the way they are, they are always open here. Yeah, so I think I'll leave. wear this inside. And I have my face towel. I got a lesser I won't carry a tile I'll have to you I'll use this lesser and I got my going home outfit this is so nice because it's so comfortable over here it's easy to access the book too when you want to breastfeed the baby so this will be my going home outfit and I we carry this extra shawl like it's like a heavy blanket it gets so cold sometimes in the hospital so i'll have to need this probably not sure but i'll still carry it then here i got my toiletries my let me show you what i got in this tiny bag i got a smaller bag inside here here I got my toothbrush, my earphones, toothbrush, earphones, face lotion, lip balm, uh, a brush, makeup brush. I put everything inside the one. I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. I have my toothpaste and uh, mm, my makeup my powder makeup because i don't think i'll use a lot of makeup and then i got this this is i think it's lotion and shampoo these are the tiny ones that you get when you go to the hotels they come in handy like now when you don't want to carry a lot of stuff then also i got my camera here and the charger is inside there uh, I got this also disposable shower cups so I'll use that one if I need it then an extra soap and I got my oh, um, what do we call it my spray and my lotion then I got this small bag that contains my cards and some little cash inside here just for emergencies because uh, I think when you get into labor sometimes you get to forget, to forget something so I've put some cash away here and some of my cards there then I'll also have I'll carry this bottle to get what I when I get dehydrated and I'll use it to be to hydrate myself so and then 
I'll carry uh, I'll have my music on my phone and my earphone to listen to but when I get bored of listening to the music I'll read a book I'm still reading it but not yet done become so lazy so but I'll be reading that and if if I'll manage to read anything I don't know how sure I am about that then I'll also have in that baby bag my clinic book this what need to go inside for because when you go to the hospital you need to produce it because they can't just get your information so i'll need this book this is what they have been writing stuff and it has my history and everything so i think that's all that i'll be packing for my hospital bag i don't know if i have underpacked or overpacked but i think everything that is here is going to that bag I am not leaving any. I think even I'll add some more stuff because I'm not sure what to leave, what not to carry. I think for now that's what I'll put in the bag. And then I've already done my hair because we are almost getting there. We are almost getting there. We are at 38 weeks, and you know, from 38, anything can happen. So, yeah. That's all guys, so let me show you how my baby bump is looking so far. Yeah, so that's how we are looking so far at 38 weeks. So big, so huge, 38 weeks. That's how we are looking so far. We are so we are praying for a safe delivery. I've not planned for CS, but if anything happens and we go that route, it's well and good. But praying for a safe, natural delivery. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for clicking on my video, and don't forget to subscribe to like my page follow me on instagram facebook my name on instagram facebook twitter all of them are shirojen so if you type type that you'll find me on those platform so join me there as we continue with this journey i'm glad we are almost coming to the end of the journey and uh, praying that all goes well